All right, I've missed the entire last week of updates due to me being busy with schoolwork and whatnot, so I've decided to make a different type of video for you guys to sum up everything that happened in the week. I'm just going to go and look at the updates. I really haven't even looked at them much lately, so I'm just going to... I have some footage on here that I'm playing of me looking at the updates, and you can listen and watch as I look at them myself and I'll tell you about them. Let's see. First day I missed was February 18th, so let's click that one. And this is the Luigi's Mansion update. Let me move that up there so you can see it. Luigi's Mansion. And I've heard about this stage already, so I already pretty much know everything about it. Pretty much it looks like it starts off as the entire mansion and then uh, it's actually um, destructible and like will collapse and it'll eventually break down as you can see from the screenshots. Here, I'll, I'll click one of them in case you can't see them that well. And then, as you can see, it's near to the destruction that occurs. And, let's see. Oh yeah, and the mansion does get restored though if it's destroyed as you can see in this picture here. And to unlock this one, let's see what it says play as Luigi in three brawls. So that's pretty simple. Once you unlock Luigi, it's, you can get this level stage pretty quick then. Alright, let's go check out the next update. It would be... Let's see, we have... Oh, it's a double update. We got Zelda special moves and Ice Climber special moves. So let's open these up. Zelda's standard special Nairu's Love. It's the crystal is like a deflector shield. Projectile weapons will bounce off it. Use it quick. <laughs> Use it quick. Sorry about that. And watch it work. And side special Din's fire. Short burst of flame, but it's not too powerful. And it says first you have to hold the special move button and store up flame energy. Next you have to remember to aim the flame. Yeah, so just like in melee, you can tilt it around. And if you store enough energy, it's an unrivaled attack with its power, apparently. And you can have very massive range, as it shows in this screenshot, which I'll zoom in up on right there. And the up special is Furore's Wind. And that's that teleportation one where you like choose where you want to teleport, but it, I think it's showing um, if you're not careful with your teleportation in it, that could happen, so yeah. Alright, now let's go to Ice Climbers. Ice Climber special moves. And it, yeah, it just talks about how, yeah, it looks like it says, like how if you're just Popo and you're missing Nana, if I hope I'm saying those right, then you're pretty weak, so you need both of them, so you can get multiple hits, and you can do like the double ice shots for the standard special, as you can see here. And then Squall Hammer so you can be both spinning around with that. And then the up special recovery is really necessary for you to have Nana with you, because if you don't, then you're barely gonna do anything as you shows in that smaller screenshot there. And then the Blizzard, which is their short range, chance to freeze the en enemy. And if, it's, if you have both climbers, you'll be guarded from both sides, it says with it. And if you use it in the air, then they both shoot in the same direction. Alright. This song is probably getting annoying. How about I switch it up for you guys? Let's see. How about... We'll change it to... Target smash theme. All right. <laughs> All right. Next update is a hidden something, hidden character, Falco. Yeah. Which is pretty. He's one of the controversial characters because he's a clone, and but he's not really a clone. They've they've changed him a bit around this time, and they they actually they actually do talk about that in here. And let's see. Yeah, it says, be aware, Falco's moves have changed a lot since he appeared in Super Smash Bros. Melee. 
there's here's one of his smash attacks it shows here looks like a karate chop or something um, and he's got the Falco Phantasm which actually looks pretty similar to Fox's I think but and then his reflectors where he has some difference because he kicks his reflector away so it actually can do damage not much but it also like sends the reflector out on like Fox which is just this like right where you are and then he has his final smash as the Landmaster and his Landmaster while it's weaker and its maneuverability on land is kind of lacking it has the ability his flight ability is like really crazy so you can like if guys get on top of your landmaster as you can see like right here you can just fly straight up and like if you can see like kill everyone so that's pretty funny I doesn't think it talks it doesn't talk about his blaster uh, gun but his does work differently from Fox I know next would be let's see See, we had another double update. Bowser special moves and meteor smash. Let's see Bowser special moves. He has the flying slam for his side special. It's basically he grabs the opponent, and then he jumps up, and then bam, and he slams down. You can even grab someone midair too, which is pretty cool. And then you can also use this attack to dive off the edge with them while you're holding them. And Basically, in doing that, they'll die first. You'll die too, but they'll die first. But it is possible to escape from this, depending on their damage gauge. And uh, next is the down special, which is the same from Melee. The Bowser Bomb, where he basically just slams in the ground. And, yeah, let's go to the next update. And some Meteor Smash Advanced Technique, which involves... It says use if you this move is called the meteor smash. If you use this move when your opponent is trying to get back to solid ground, well now go now, donk, nailed him. Whoa, don't forget to recover. There are actually several types of meteor smashes. For Donkey Kong, the spot where you hit is crucial when performing a forward midair attack. Kirby's down midair can score consecutive hits. Some of Link's strong and down attacks cause the opponent to fall as well. For the Ice Climbers, only Nana can do Meteor Smashes. So it all sounds kind of interesting. You just gotta learn them all with each character and figure it all out. Let's change the song again. This one's getting annoying. Let's see. There we go. Alright, let's go to the next update. I think this, might, oh, this is the last one, actually. Captain Falcon, yes, the long-awaited update for him. <laughs> People are probably excited to see that, even though we already knew about him and the game's out in Japan, but it's it's about time they people got to see him on the site. And let's see what he says about him. It shows how he's no longer the fastest runner that Sonic is. See his Falcon Punch, of course, and it. Oh yeah, it talks about the 180. I don't know if you can do this in melee, cause I don't really remember, and I didn't play Captain Falcon much. But it says if you're like doing a, if you're winding up a Falcon Punch and you flip the, con if you turn the control stick in the opposite direction, then you'll pull a 180 and then do a, sh a slightly stronger version of Falcon Punch. And then of course Falcon kicks back, where how it works different if you're on ground or in the air. And then his final smash is actually kind of unique compared to others. He basically, he gets in his the blue falcon, and whatever players he happens to connect as he like crashes into them, it'll teleport them to this F-Zero track, and then he just runs over everyone. <laughs> Which, the reason that's unique, I was saying, is because no other characters get a cinematic thing like that. Oh, hold on one second. Alright, sorry about that. I just happened to get a phone call in the middle of doing this video. Anyway, I gotta end this now because I'm just about to get over 10 minutes. So that's it for this week. And hopefully I'll get some... The videos will be better and come out in time next week. See you later.